Hi guys, this is Sarah from The Savvy Professor. In today's video, I'll discuss the differences between Team City and Jenkins. Watch till the end to know the final verdict on which is better. But first, let's start with the differences. So the main difference between them is their access. The primary difference between Team City and Jenkins is that Jenkins is an open source CI or continuous integration tool where Team City necessitates paid subscriptions. For it to run effectively as an open source, Jenkins is sponsored by developers worldwide, whereas Team City is supported by its developers. Being an open source, Jenkins is more easily accessed than its commercial counterpart, Team City. Integrations Regarding integrations with other software and tools, no other CI tool outsmarts Jenkins. The tool integrates with hundreds of plugins for optimized outputs. Compared with Jenkins, Team City supports fewer integrations, with at least 300 supported integrations. However, Team City supports various critical integrations such as Jira, which extensively enhances its efficiency. Therefore, Jenkins provides more integrations than any other CI tool, thus optimizing its efficiency. Pricing As an open source, Jenkins has no set prices for its access and usage. It is free. The fact that the CI tool doesn't incur a single dime cost on corporations maximizes its adoption. On the contrary, Team City necessitates paid subscriptions for its exclusive features. However, it also has a free access plan that suits small businesses and individual developers, as it has many restrictions. Its paid access comes with a professional and an enterprise server license. The professional server license supports up to 100 build configurations and 3 build agents for free, but attracts $299 for any additional build agent and 10 build configurations. On the other hand, the Enterprise Server License supports at least three build agents and unlimited configurations, costing at least $1,999. Note that Team City's prices are current and subject to change. Therefore, Jenkins is more pocket friendly as it doesn't cost a dime. But do they have any similarities? Jenkins and Team City have numerous similarities besides their obvious similarity as outstanding CI tools. For instance, both tools are written in Java. Also, both tools have a user community for effective sharing of hacks and skills for navigating the respective tool as well as troubleshooting. To sum up, which is better, Team City or Jenkins? I found Team City to be a good option due to its exclusive integrations with other tools and plugins for increased effectiveness. However, Jenkins is a much better option because of its numerous integrations with other plugins than any other CI tools and its free access. For these reasons, I settle for Jenkins as the better option. Feel free to check out the products from the links in our description. Thanks for watching. Till next time.